You are in one of the historic homes here in Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. Yes. But this is very much your home too. I mean, your designer residence. Right. So you totally transform this. It's amazing. Well, the colors thank in you. here. Thank you. Um, it is quite an honor being a designer residence at Colonial Williamsburg. And one of the exciting things is I have a front row seat at this incredible Colonial American dream. So one of the uh, goals of this house is that, yes, it is my home. So it's saturated with color because I love color. It feels very you. It's even though there's like a fife and drum corps outside, <laughs> right, and right. there's people in historic costumes yes, that yes. are passing us yes. when we were coming here. Yes. As soon as I came in, mm -hmm. I was like, this is Tony's place. Yes. I could see all the signatures in your well, design palette. I think one of the interesting parts about the project is that it's not a historical restoration and it's not a show house. So yes. it's really my home and how I want to live in it. It has my collections of art, folk art, and antiques. Uh, you know, I've used a lot of different periods of furnishings here because it's all me. So that's how we started this, this And project. was this house beige and white? It, it didn't have all this. I mean, these are historically based colors from the Williamsburg collection by Benjamin Moore. Yes. They look... So modern. Um, when I first came to the house, every piece of woodwork was painted a beige color. I said uh, I'll be happy to live in this house, but I have to add color. So what the amazing thing is, Benjamin Moore stepped up to the plate with this incredible collection of color. But my goal was to make it modern and relevant. With the inspiration from 18th century, uh, interiors from Colonial Williamsburg because the one thing that I uh, that people don't understand is that there was a lot a lot of bright color. You go into some of the period houses and it's the color is arrestingly beautiful and bright. The uniforms are spectacular. They're beautifully colored. All of the interiors just so surprising. The museums and the folk art so colorful. So that's what I'm incorporating into this house for my interpretation of life at Colonial Williamsburg. In my entry foyer, I did a great decorating trip that was completely inspired by the Colonial houses. I painted the baseboard in a Benjamin Moore color called Mopboard Black because the mop would hit against the board when they were cleaning the house, but it acts as if to push the walls out slightly and add this punctuation mark. And it's super great with the spiker floor cloth. That's a reproduction of an 18th century original. In the living room, there's no better place to see this palette that I developed for the house, which is a colonial interpretation of a primary palette. So the settee is done in this beautiful goldenrod yellow. The winter is done in this very rich, red felt yeah. and this pretty Victorian settee is in the most beautiful beautiful blue 
quilted fabric. And how about here? Is this a blue or a green? It's, it's a green, and it's called Goodwin Green, of course, Benjamin Moore. And um, I used it as almost like a background color. It's this really rich spruce. Now, can I just say that you, of all people, kind of has made Americana sort of sexy. It is very glamorous and a little bit sexy in here. I love, I never thought I would say this about these kinds of rugs, mm -hmm. but the oversized scale of it. Yes. And also, is that a Victorian chair? That's a, a Victorian chair from my own collection, and I've always been known for incorporating Victorian furniture uh -huh. into my homes. Okay, but I'm talking about the combination of the surprise of how you did the oversized yes. pattern on it. Yes, yes. That looks very fresh and modern. Too. Yeah, but we try to make it uh, modern, and I almost like the idea that it's a big canvas mm -hmm. for pattern. Hey, Tony, what are these? These are incredible. So those are ship dioramas from my own collection. If there's anything I'm known for is my uh, use of nautical decor uh, in my interiors. So while doing this house, I was like, of why course. not? Yeah. <laughs> so. And I like that it's more is more here. You have the, this is dioramas. Yes, yes, yes. But then you also have um, paintings. Yes. Uh, this is obviously a completely different date than these over here, yes. which look very yes. quite old. Mm -hmm. But they yes. all work together. In the dining room, I paired Lafayette blue with damask gold. And one of the wonderful parts about this house is that I get to do things that I wouldn't normally do for a client's house. And here, I painting the woodwork gold is such a departure for me, but I absolutely love it. Tony, I'm obsessed with these. What are these playing cards? There's four of them. I love them. Are these new? Or yeah, they're, they're from the Williamsburg uh, print collection. Oh, so they're new. They're new, yes. Okay, yes. and then how about this? Um, I love this painting, it's vintage, and the scale is super in this room. Come and see the bedrooms. In the guest room, I used Custis Salmon, and one of the things, because the house is done for me, it's not very feminine. So here was my chance to use this beautiful, luscious pink color, um, and it adds this feminine quality to the house. We're in the master bedroom now, and I'm always asked about what is done on the wainscot. It's is actually wallpaper? not wallpaper. It's not wallpaper. It's decorative painting by oh. this great co local company. And um, I think they did a great job. They did. Yeah, they did. And it's inspired by another 18th century house, not in Williamsburg. But that's what made you kind of give the inspiration to do it here. You know, I wanted to do something special in this room and a little different from the rest of the house. It does feel different in yes, here. Yes, yes. It feels... Um, very worldly. I love all the nods, all the oil paintings of horses, of portraits, but then I'm looking at your bed and you've got this great combination of patterns, kind of something very traditional, right? Yes, yes, work, yes. Which you're very known for. I yes. know that you love that. Mm -hmm. But then, like, what's this? Is this... That was a quilt that was purchased online from India and it was very inexpensive, $45 if you can imagine. But you know what I think is interesting is this colorway pulls and is reminiscent of that goldenrod that you use absolutely, downstairs, which is in the store. Oh, see, am I yeah, getting it? Uh, you're getting it. You're okay, getting thank it. you. And then, question: What is this amazing headboard like? That I call a Corona, piece? and it's made with antique hinges. But the real star of the show here is my bed that was purchased from the Gore Vidal estate. So, no, and I bought, bought it in California. One of the cool things about the house is that I have this big collection of furniture in warehouses, and I was able to pick the pieces that I would not normally use in a house to do this house. For yourself, for all myself. The pieces that and this, uh, this happens to be a room that I spend an enormous amount of time in, especially in the winter time, because the fireplace is fantastic and it's so warm and cozy here. I could spend half the day here easily. You know what I am remarking on is for a very old house, how high the ceilings are. Yes. And the width, the proportion, everything is so balanced in here. Isn't it unbelievable? It, it it's busts the myth of tiny, tiny totally little rooms. It's not totally. at all. And I was told that this house was based on what a London townhouse would have been. Really? Yeah. And you kind of get that feeling. You do. Yes, this yes. feels, I was just in London yes, and yes. I'm feeling that kind of vibe here. Uh, yes. Well, Mr. Palmer would be proud and I like the fact that you're now taking it and a hundred years from now, someone's going to talk about 
Mr. Barada and what he ah, did here. I love that. And how he <laughs> yeah. reinterpreted it. Yes. And the next person's going to take your what you did and that's going to inspire them and take it to the future. I hope they don't repaint it. <laughs> okay. What size is this? Colonial size. Colonial <laughs> size. Very nice. Very Gucci. <laughs> this is awesome. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange cue to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.